We haven't started. That's good. Does that silly? Monsieur Poussinet, how divinely beautiful. Is it not? Listen to what Romeo answers. It was the luck. The herald of the morn! No, Nightingale. Look, love! What envious streaks do lace the seven clouds in yonder? East. <laughs> the Romancers by Edmund Roston. <laughs> Poor lovers, their fate was cruel. I think. What? Nothing. <laughs> Something that made you blush red as a rose. Nothing I say. Uh, that's all too transparent. I see it all! You were thinking of our fathers. Another terrible hatred for each other. <laughs> Same silhouette. Yet, I love you! Holy saints! I love you, dearest! It's sinful! Yes, very. <laughs> but what can we do? The greater the obstacles to be overcome, the sweeter the reward! My dear child, you and I are Romeo and Juliet. I love you to despair, and I shall brave the rest. Of Pasquino Capulets in Bergamon Montague. Then you love. But how, Monsieur Poussinet, has it happened so soon? Love is born. We know not how. But because it must be born. Now, since we love, we must be married. I was just thinking about that. I, now. Last of the Pasquinos, do solemnly pledge myself to you. Last of the Bergamans. What noble recklessness! We shall be sung in future ages. <laughs> yes, two tender children of two mm. hard-hearted dogs. Oh, I have heard of stranger things. I can think of half a dozen. <laughs> what, for instance? Imagine that an aged duke, having seen my portrait falls in love with me, sends a squire to sue for my hand, and offers to make me a duchess. And you say no. He is offended. Some dark night when I am in the garden meditating, he springs forth out of the darkness. I scream. <laughs> and I lose not a second, only bring over the wall, dagger in hand. I fight like a tiger. I lay low for your foreman. <laughs> rushes in and takes me in his arms. You tell him who you are, his heart softens, he gives me to my savior. Your father consents, for he is proud of your bravery. <laughs> then we live forever, happy and content. <laughs> Someone's coming. Tonight, Nathan, you will come. Your father. <gasps> Aha! <laughs> I find you here again, dreaming in this corner of the park. Father. I love this old wall. I adore this bench <laughs> over which the vines have so gracefully draped themselves. Father, this 100-year-old wall, with its clinging vines, its constellations of flowers, makes this <laughs> a throne fit for kings. Nonsense, you harebrained youth. And now. I have something to say to you. My boy, I should like to see you get married. <laughs> what was that? Nothing. I thought I heard him cry. Some wounded bird, perhaps. <laughs> I have given the matter my undivided attention and have chosen a wife for you. The young woman's rich. She's a jewel. I want none of your jewels. Rascal. No, 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 father. I swear by the sight of this woe which hears me, 
I hope. <laughs> My marriage will be more romantic than any of the world's most poetic of love stories. Anna! Let me pet you. I can really understand now why Papa hates that odious old man. <laughs> what are you doing over here? What moves, sir? Nothing. Take me in the air. <laughs> near the side of this wall. I forbade you ever be near it. Why? It was a rascal over there. Knew that my daughter would walk in the park tonight. Ugh. And that's just why I want you to go to the house. Quick. Take this note at once to my insurance, the Raphael. <laughs> And how are you? Pretty well. The marriage is arranged. What? I heard everything. I was hidden in the bushes. We adore each other. Oh, no, now we can do as we had planned. Oh, yes. It's kind of this wretched we're joining our properties. By marrying our children. Ah. But I wonder if they would be so anxious if they knew we wished it. <laughs> you know, a marriage arranged beforehand is not quite so tempting to two children so romantic as ours. That is how I came to invent this hatred of ours. Now all we have to do is say yes. But how can it be done? Remember, I've called you a fool. Scoundrel. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Your daughter herself has given me an inspiration. They're to meet here at eight. Person A comes first. The moment Sylvette appears, mysterious men in black will emerge from the shadows. An abduction. She screams. Ah! <laughs> a young heel gives chase, draws his sword. The ravishers pretend to flee. I arrive on the scene. Then your daughter is safe and sound. You bless a couple and drop a few appropriate tears. My heart softens. <laughs> 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 See that man coming? It is the rough I have. The bravado to whom I wrote to. A few minutes ago. Here's to superintend the abduction. Eh, hey, monsieur. My master, does my plan meet with your approval? It does. It is most simple. You must have skillful swordsmen. I can't have my boy get hurt. He's my only child. Don't worry, monsieur. I just do that myself. Ching! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, monsieur, I shall turn soon. And don't forget to leave open the door in your back tonight. Very well. Shall be done. Everything is arranged. Oh, bravo. Now, we can join our properties. By marrying our children. Yes. Are you old bagman? Here, old Pasquinal.